I am going to show you one of my latest build projects in Trail Makers. It's been a while since I showed you guys something I've cooked up in this game. But yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys. But first, we need to go into the build mode because if we go into a block here and I just make a random surface, there we go, and then I select this all and go into decals from the new Motorhead DLC pack, there are a bunch of DLC companies. So we've got Power Core, Cosmocorp, Melvin's, Grip King, Quantum All. They all have their very own design. And I took it upon myself to actually do something for one of these companies. And that is Cosmocorp. So here is the Cosmocorp logo. And when I first saw this, I was like, damn, this is cool. But also Cosmo means space, like space. They also have a second logo here, which is pretty cool. But yeah, using this brand, I have developed some cool builds that you guys are going to want to see but first of all we need to go inside of the hangar here if you couldn't tell by the title of this video i have developed a planetary delivery system that delivers crates just like these they are all branded with the cosmocorp logo and they also are all color coded so i'm like i know which one's which but you can see this one has a loading bar because it is more special than the rest of these crates. And I'll explain why they have a loading bar in a second. But as we wait for these crates to open, yes, after they load, they open. It's kind of like a mystery box. There we go, they have all opened up, and you can see they all have different contents. So for this first one, this one is called the Computer Terminal. As you can see, it has a pop-out futuristic keyboard, a bunch of tech inside, a radar. I've used a load of decals to get as much detailing as I can. Got these radios, a screen. You also have this pop-out antenna. All of this fits inside of the box and opens up completely, so you can, you know, potentially quote use it but yeah that's the computer terminal moving on to the next crate we have the yellow crate this is the shield generator and all around us there is a shield so i don't know i just thought maybe one of these crates could provide some protection so yeah we have a shield generator we've got this like cool interior there's some nuclear symbols in there uh, a more analog keyboard design and a giant fan here for cooling i just think it looks very very nice moving on to the next crate we have a more deadly crate because this is the weapons crate a resupply and weapons crate so we have a minigun in there the minigun just looks amazing by itself but i do have some homemade weapons so we got some like space blaster revolvers in there and an rpg because who doesn't want an rpg and then everything else in here is just ammunition we've got some more rockets there and these boxes are supposed to simulate like bullet boxes or ammunition but yeah that's the weapons crate and then finally you have the uh supply crate so this is just a simple survival supply crate you have water in there you have med kit fuel anything you really need tools yeah tools anything you would potentially need to survive is in this box even bandages but that's not the only crates i have made behind me there is this golden crate which i have dubbed the luxury crate because it's gold this is for the higher clientele you know the the vip members our most expensive crate in the company and it is loading soon as i spawn these crates in they start loading couldn't i just use a sensor to open them wouldn't that be more necessary there is a reason i will get to that but here is the luxury crate it's going to open there we go <laughs> it's a bar it's a bar. how cool is that it's a bar you even get a chirpo like a android chirpo that will serve you yeah definitely a luxury box indeed i'll have a uh, chirpo special please thank you and last but not least, we have the utility stuff. So here is a cryopod. This is a space planetary delivery system I have here. So maybe delivering yourself in a cryopod makes sense. I thought that would, would be cool. You can actually open the door here. And I've got some smoke particles going to simulate that you're frozen. Next, we have a simple rover vehicle. If you needed a quick vehicle, I could deliver one for you to your planet. And yeah, it'll be easy to get around. And then these two, these are currently loading they'll be done in a second here okay here we go so first we have this one which will transform like this open up oh that's a bit bouncy and then turn into a giant floodlight 
So if you need lighting, this crate will transform into a handy floodlight for you and light up the whole area. And then next is just an, a fun power battery solar pack. So this is, yeah, it has solar panels. And if you needed power, this is the best way for you to get renewable power from the sun. Okay, well, that's pretty much all of the things that can get potentially delivered. Now it's actually time to show you the delivery system. I say planetary delivery because I am delivering to a planet and that is Dune. I've designed these specifically to only deliver to Dune. It's just harder to get a crate or something to deliver this way because I'm going to launch everything like it's all designed to be launched from this space station and trying to get something over there just is just difficult. But we have the biggest planet that is Dune. But yeah, let's pull out our delivery system. So here we have the cargo lander. This is a big rocket and you can see it has magnets on the side accompanied by distance sensors so how you actually load up the crates so we're going to use the empty prop crates here but you can put any crate on as long as it's in complexity because some of these crates have more complexity if i wanted a weapon crate i just do this okay so we have three prop crates on here and a weapons crate and it's disconnected you notice how all of these uh yellow exclamation marks are showing up it's because yeah it's not supposed to be connected. They are going to self-connect when I release this from build mode and magnetize the crates. So once I exit here, it should have to be careful of this thing. This thing is quite annoying. Every time I've tested this, this like rope part gets in the way. So I'm just gonna move it slightly. Okay, there is a good spot to launch from. So let's launch this immediately. It should just start heading towards the planet. There we go. It's moving. It's moving. Okay, it's going to go quite fast. So I need to pull out a, a spaceship here and follow it. Can we even keep up? It is a fast rocket, guys. It does have four thrusters on it. We're going to try and keep up with the rocket there. But you can see, you can just see the glimmer of the rockets. The thrust It's going to head down towards the planet. And to do that, I have some low powered gyros just pointing the nose down it's already that i think it's already heading into atmosphere okay now i've lost visual damn that was quick this is like instant delivery dude no next day delivery this is instant <laughs> hyper speed delivery i think it's landing it's already landed yeah there we go it's already i saw the big cloud of smoke there i think i haven't made it in time so i might have to show you in a different way guys but if i get here there we go. The crates have popped off the rocket. So once it lands, it has an auto landing feature. They pop off of the rocket. And then once the crates have like dropped and been delivered, it should head back into space like that. There we go. So it's done its job. It's kind of returning to base. It doesn't actually go back to the satellite, but you know, it's it's the immersion that counts. And then our crates are down here. Now, the reason they do have loading bars is because every time a rocket lands on the planet, how they work these crates is they actually activate within gravity. So as soon as it detects gravity using the new gravity sensors, the countdown starts and the loading bar just gives it enough time to actually do the landing process and then open. I don't want it opening in midair. So if I have a loading bar for these crates, they will open after they've landed. So we're going to do this again and pull out the cargo lander, but this time I want to get a better view on what's happening. So we're going to use a um, one of the cryopods. So if I put a cryopod on top, there's a cryopod. I, oh, I forgot to show you, but I also have a chirpo cryopod. Just in case you had the chirpo crew, you know? If you have that chirpo crew with you, they can also tag along. Now, sometimes this delivery system can mess up. Sometimes stuff just doesn't work out and things glitch out and the rocket starts pointing towards space and stuff. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. So if I just split out of build mode. Oh, there we go. We're in. We're magnetized. We're actually on this. Let me change camera. We're, we're launched straight away. We're going very fast now. 300 and nearly, nearly 350 miles per hour. Traveling through space. And we're heading straight for Dune. By the way, this is all auto. Like, I'm, I have no controls here. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. These are the little problems I was talking about. Hopefully, it doesn't break any more than this. It should still function. Sometimes the magnets are not as reliable as I would like, but you know, what can you do? 
Oh yeah, it also shoots flares as soon as it hits atmosphere. Okay, it's turning. It's turning. And we're auto landing. The smoke is a bit annoying right now, but I guess it's realistic because it is fire. I mean, it's only the damage from the blocks causing that smoke. But as we go in for a landing here, it slows down as much as it can, lowers its legs, and then... There we go, we've landed. We've made it. There we go. Launches everything off. Perfect. Resets itself, and then it should just... Get out of here. It should just leave. There we go. Perfect timing. Off it goes. Like a beautiful star in the night. Okay, let's try it again one more time. Let's try not to get any of the smoke this time. My Cosmocorp planetary delivery system is working. <laughs> I love this. This is great. All right, we're in. Entering Dune. Turn around before you hit a mountain. Perfect. Perfect. It works way better this time around. Okay, distance sensor detect the ground. Slow down. There we go. Look at that. Perfect descent. And we have landed on, on even an angled surface. Look, and it's still staying upright. I think I'm going to la be launched down there, though. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're upside down. It's fine. I could just, yeah, whatever. I'll leave. There we go. And then the rocket realigns itself. See you later. Off it goes. Beautiful. And it's away. So that was a demonstration of my cargo lander. The actual main big delivery unit but i do have a single delivery option and that is my delivery drone so this delivery drone is a smaller version of the cargo lander and it's designed to just take one item at a time but this one is different because it doesn't use magnets it actually uses a detachable block so what you have to do is for the logic reasons i figured out you need to spawn in your crate first i want the computer terminal say i've just ordered the computer terminal i will get this crate here put it in first and get the drone and then using these tube pieces line it up perfectly so it is attached now, now this is technically one build yeah so this is one build now and if i let go it's a little slower than the rocket because the rocket's obviously going to be faster but if i just follow it it's going to start making its way to dune just like how the rocket will Again, it does have a system where it points down to start descending towards the planet because the satellite is way higher than the atmosphere of Dune. Okay, let's try and get a little closer here. It's, it's starting to pick up some speed. This one's a little bit harder to see, but it does have that small trail, which is good. I think it's entered the atmosphere now. We are about to, too. There we go. It's leveling out. There we go. It's going to level out and just start hovering. And then, just descend. It's just going to descend, slowly. Am I, is it going to land on that rock? That would be so cool if it landed on that rock there. I think it's going to miss, though. Oh, yeah, I told you it's going to slightly miss. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's coming in for a landing. Those thrusters will engage to slow it down even more. And then... Drop off the crate like that. <laughs> Okay, okay, we've had a little bit of a fail here. This um, big cliff is in the way. But you can see the crate's downloading because it entered atmosphere. And then once it's uh, loaded here, it opens. And there's also a stabilizer to flip it upright if it ever becomes upside down. But yeah, unfortunately, the drone hit the rock there. But I'm just going to spawn it here for demonstration purposes. Oh, that was quick. Like, the gravity's normal here, so it, it just dropped really quick. H how about if I spawn it in from the roof? Okay, we're spawning one in from the highest point of this area. There we go. 
now we can see it's landing in more light here we can actually see it in more detail it lands as soon as it's in range drops off the package and then the drone will go into space like that hopefully without obstacles in the way i definitely think the cargo lander is more efficient in returning to space because the cargo lander goes straight up however the delivery drone goes forward as well so there's definitely improvements to be made to this delivery system but let me know what you guys think of my cosmocorp delivery system whatever you need is courtesy of cosmocorp deliveries I definitely think it was a fun way to take one of the decal logos in the game, literally, and build a whole system around a company like that. Maybe I can do something in the future where we take Quantum All and make something themed for Quantum All. Or any of the other branded logos. Definitely let me know what you guys want to see. Thanks for watching my little showcase of my planetary delivery system. And if you want to see more projects like this, definitely leave your comments down below. And whilst we're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.